Welcome back to my channel. I bring you some shocking news. The judge overseeing the Georgia election interference case against former President Donald Trump and his co-defendants has declined to outright disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. The judge ruled that either she or prosecutor Nathan Wade must step aside from the case. In a 23-page ruling, Judge Scott McAfee wrote that while dismissal of the indictment is not the appropriate remedy, he concluded that the established record now highlights a significant appearance of impropriety that affects the current structure of the prosecution team. McAfee ordered that the conflict must be resolved through the state's selection of one of two options. The district attorney may choose to step aside, along with the whole of her office, and refer the prosecution to the prosecuting attorney's counsel for reassignment. Alternatively, Sada Wade can withdraw, allowing the district attorney, the defendants, and the public to move forward without his presence. Trump's lead attorney in the Georgia case, Steve Sadow, said in a statement, We will use all legal options available as we continue to fight to end this case. While respecting the court's decision, we believe that the court did not afford appropriate significance to the prosecutorial misconduct of Willis and Wade including the financial benefits, testifying untruthfully about their relationship, and Willis' extrajudicial MLK church speech. A key element of the defense's case was showing that Willis deliberately prolonged the case to further enrich Wade, who was being paid hourly. McAfee fully disagreed with their argument. He wrote, but in fact, there is no indication the district attorney is interested in delaying anything. Despite this, McAfee judged Wade's testimony to be patently unpersuasive. The defense's case for disqualification hinged on the timing of Wade and Willis' relationship. If it began before Wade's appointment as special counsel, the defense argued, then it would demonstrate a clear financial conflict. McAfee found that defendants failed to prove that the district attorney acquired an actual conflict of interest. Trump's attorney argued that Willis committed forensic misconduct by stoking racial and religious prejudice against the defendants. McAfee wrote that he cannot find that this speech crossed the line, but he took Willis to task for its improper nature. The defense's disqualification efforts were centered on allegations of misconduct against Willis, which she has fiercely denied. Trump and his co-defendants have been accused of alleged efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election in Georgia. Subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching.